I just wanted to go ahead and say Merry Christmas. Um, people ask me, when exactly am I going to do these readings? I totally forgot. I, I didn't even know. But look, you Libras have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Hermit, right? Um, so for you Libras, okay, stepping into 2024, right? Your yearly overview, because this is that's what it is. This is more so about you Libras having to understand Six of Pentacles, self-worth. Stop begging people or asking people or wanting to be accepted to the point where it comes off as begging. Be the best individuals that you can be. But if people make a decision that they're going to make it difficult on you, they don't want to accept you. They don't want to see you as, a, as an equal. They don't want to see you as, as a leader also. That those are not necessarily the people for you Libras to be associating yourself with, whether it's professionally or romantically. The Seven of Swords and the Hermit represents, and if you feel some sort of way where you feel like you have to justify this and associate yourself with a group of people that won't accept you, won't respect you, then it means that you Libras need to, to again, be a hermit and set up some boundaries. Seven of Swords, set up some boundaries. Hermit, figure out what it is about you where you feel like you have to get acceptance from a group of people that do not have your back anyway in the first place. Because once it is, again, once I, once again, I said before that air signs have weak crews normally, not all the times. But why do I say this? I'm not doing it to insult you. I'm saying it because it's the real, it's real, it's it's serious. A lot of you Libras don't seem to understand that, number one, a lot of the people that you are, are devoted to are not devoted to you. And what you want to do is, at least I would think you would, you Libras should want people as devoted to you as you are to them, leaders, to where it's decentralized. There's no quote-unquote leader in this group. Or, or, or a leader unless it needs one but but it's a decentralized group it's it's all it's my dog over there it's all decentralized um hold on a sec decentralized I didn't want you to go to the bathroom on my bed um, so and if you can't get that kind of interaction with another person romantically friend wise or anything else then it means that you should not be hanging out with those people the death card and the three of swords you Libras are going through for the year of 2024 you're going through a serious transformation sorry about the interruption by the way but a lot of you are going through a serious transformation where a lot of you Libras are going to understand that you can't operate like a computer. You have to actually feel something. And what it is that you feel and what you think, both, both of them have to agree. And they both have to make sense. And once they do agree, then it means it's time for you to actually make a decision. You Libras, y'all are so smart and y'all already know who you need to, to excommunicate. But y'all don't. Because y'all, because y'all are romanticizing, you're pulling from the opposite polarity of Aries, which is you're romanticizing that the people that that you associate yourself with, you're looking at it with rose-colored glasses in the sense of you are romanticizing them appreciating you and assuming that they are appreciating you just like you are appreciating them. And that's not necessarily always the case. So for you, Libras, this is about a journey of self-worth. This is a hero's journey that a lot of you Libras, that's my dog over there. This is a hero's journey that a lot of you Libras are learning to actually go on. You all right?
So this is a hero's journey that a lot of you are learning to essentially go on. And that to stop, number one, looking at you, looking at yourself like you are the worst person in the world. And that you have to essentially, you know, do everything and you destroy everything and you're this, that, and the third. Because part of you Libras, I'm, I'm observing that a lot of you Libras kind of on some self self flagellation type stuff where y'all are like spiritually whipping yourselves and sabotaging yourselves for, for, for the things that you put on to yourselves and the things that you blame yourselves for because a lot of you Libras put too much responsibility on your own backs. And this is about understanding that this year is a year, like I said, of transformation where you Libras understand that this is not about, you know, this is not about like you essentially, how do I say it? Like, um, taking everything so personally from a perspective of if, if a person that you're trying to get to know chooses to not like you, to not want to be with you, you take it so personally to the point where you, you change, you try to change every single thing about you. No, this is about you Libras understanding that some people you're not going to mix with you're not going to mix with because they're not there yet. They're not going to mix. You're not going to mix with them because they're not there yet. And far too often, this is what got a lot of people caught up when it comes to dating Libra. In particular, that the idea of trying to make somebody that does not want a relationship with them long term trick them almost like trick them into being in a relationship long term and it's like you can't change minds and hearts and that's the same thing that a lot of you leavers have to understand you cannot change minds and hearts so now the five of pentacles is about you have to allow people to go through their own their own dysfunctions in their life because they with time with enough time people reincarnate with enough time, if they're not completely stupid, they will change. The Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles is about, but your you Libras have a, 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 a grand, uh, a, a magnificent opportunity to not have to go to the upper room and then reincarnate and then come back down here in another body. If you, if reincarnation, if you, deal with that sort of thing it does happen and experience you know different experiences or maybe the same experiences all over again just so that you can learn you Libras get a privilege this this chance to learn and be more aware and conscious and 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 just overall responsible for yourself and your own emotions and actions and the ability to put your own ego on the back end is a is a grandiose thing. It's a privilege because people have to reincarnate 10, 15, 20, 25, 100 times. How many umpteen times living long lives for them to even begin to get a sliver of this level of understanding. And you Libras actually have an opportunity to learn it in the life in the, in the life that you're living right now. So this shows that a lot of you Libras should take that opportunity to learn from your mistakes in the, in the year 2024, which we are coming up into pretty quickly. The 10 of Pentacles, excuse me, the 10 of Cups and the two of Pentacles represents and understand that, that you need to take care of yourself and that self-care is, is above all else. We're not self-conceit you're not taking care of yourself to the point where it doesn't make any sense you're taking care of yourselves you're taking care of yourselves in general but especially the times that matters right having people you know put you up there on the cross trying to scapegoat you having you know you trying to get to know people and people are trying to blame you for every single thing blame you for the fact that they're a failure in life now they're in their 30s you you might be in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s or whatever they've never met you up until two years ago and they don't even realize that they've been blaming you for every single thing 
You know what I mean? And a lot of you Libras are realizing that that's also a part of self-care too, is not allowing people to scapegoat the, the, the goat out of you, right? So let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Um, the Nine of, of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Justice, and then you have the Nine of Cups. The Justice is Libra, so you showed up in your own reading. So heavy level of influence that a lot of you Libras have. You have the ability to really make some serious impacts and changes in your own life that, are, that will benefit you for years to come. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands represents are you you have the all the opportunity in the world and you will have chances throughout the entire year but are you going to take them and the thing about it is that the justice and the nine of cups represents you will have to make some sacrifices of people you will have to stop communicating with some people you are going to have to to this year if you are still hanging out with some with some idiots you libras will have to be more confrontational than you've had to have been in this one year than you've been probably in your entire life. Because it's about you now having to come to the realization that some people are going to have to drop out of your life. You cannot keep them. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups, you have the Five of Cups, the World, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, a lot of it will break your heart. But Five of Cups, it is necessary because not enough people will give you your flowers. They don't understand your value while you're here, while you are alive right now, pristine right now. They don't get it. So in order for them to get you to appreciate you more, you leave their life respectfully, of course, respectfully, of course, you know, always. You always strive to leave their life respectfully, of course. And because of that, because of that, you're going to break a lot of other people's hearts because they will learn the hard way of they had you Libras in their life. And that instead of them concentrate on you Libras and the connection that they had with you, whether it was friends, family, or, rom or romance, they squandered it instead of being there for you when it mattered. Because even though you Libras represent justice, you Libras also represent a need for guidance. Not always guidance, even though you can provide that to people. To people sometimes you Libras want to be leaders but and I'm not knocking you I'm saying that you want to be leaders in your own right if not to other people to yourself but a lot of times you need guidance and sometimes the knuckleheads that you hang out with they cannot they cannot produce guidance so that's one of the things too that a lot of you Libras are looking out for right is to make more sense of your own life, to give yourself that internal compass, that sense of direction. Are you heading in a, in a better area or are you heading in a worse area? But that's pretty much it for now. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.